Hello, my fishy friend, Sam here. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to make spirulina medium. So, so the spirulina needs to be in a certain pH of water with certain nutrients and minerals in it so that it can grow. We know that tap water is usually around an eight pH, seven point something to eight. Um, that's usually how it comes unless uh, it comes from the municipality unless you are on a well or something. So um, spirulina is actually an extremophile. Um, its pH needs to be higher and it uh, between a nine and a 10. An extremophile is really an organism that exists at extremes. So it, it lives at an extreme pH, but it also lives at an extreme temperature. It does best at uh, higher temperatures, which is about 85 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty warm. And so those extremes, at extreme pH and the temperature also help keep it safe from contamination from other biologicals that might wanna uh, cohabitate with it. Some that could potentially make us sick. So that's why we personally feel safe consuming spirulina ourselves. So some of those chemicals, we're gonna change the pH with baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Um, we're also gonna use some diammonium phosphate, which we get, this is for like uh, wine and beer making. We're gonna get this on Amazon, um, between Amazon and eBay and walmart.com. Some of these are very common. Other things are a little more specialty. We got some sea salt for some uh, trace minerals, nutrients. Um, got the uh, potassium nitrate. We also have this ferrous sulfate, ferrous sulfate heptahydrate. And what that does is that creates, adds some iron to the mixture because things that photosynthesize need iron. That's an important mineral in this. And to make that, this iron available, bioavailable to our organisms, the spirulina, we have to mix it and chelate it using some lemon juice. So I will show you guys a little bit of that here in a little bit. So something I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and include links on where to find this stuff. And I'm gonna try and include a link to the proportions we're gonna to do to make our own medium, right? I created a calculator on Google Sheets. So I'll try and make that available to you guys. And this is from research of looking at different recipes online. And I can say that we have successfully grown a lot of spirulina off of this exact mixture. If you decide to buy your mixture online pre-mixed, you can do it. It is gonna be a lot more expensive per gram. So, um, you know, if you buy, buy in bulk, you get savings. Some of these things you need a lot of, like baking soda, which thankfully it's very cheap. But um, other things here, you use just a very little bit of this. So this is gonna last you a long time. 